Madam Chair, the EFF leadership does not use the Marikana issue as a political football. We have always been on the ground, particularly with the poor masses of our people. And therefore, the core leadership of the EFF, when it intervened in Marikana, it didn't do so because it seeked votes, because even at that time, there was no EFF. We related and we've been with the people of Marikana before the formation of the EFF because we are genuinely concerned about the issues of the workers in the mines. Marikana was a matter that was facilitated in a clear daylight and under the political influence and supervision of politicians, many of whom continue to enjoy privileges of this house. Bureaucrats and ground forces of this murderous regime must not be the only ones that take full blame on Marikana. There must not be another Eugene de Kock who gets sacrificed for all the political sins of the apartheid regime and political principles are celebrated as peacemakers. A closer reading of the commission report reveals the following facts. The events recounted in the Marikana Commission report on activities of the 14, 15, 16 of August 2012 reveal strongly that massacre of Marikana, it was a pre-made